Rita, how are you? Hi, Naomi. I'm good. I'm very happy to meet you. I know you have some questions on strokes. Yes, I have learned a lot about stroke, but I still don't know what it is. Well, a stroke is a condition when your brain does not receive enough supply of oxygen and nutrients. Not enough energy? Exactly. The brain suffers after a few seconds and minutes and then several impairments occur, as you already know. For example, asymmetry of the face, weakness of one arm and leg on the same side, speech impairment, loss of consciousness sometimes, and headache in occasional cases. I thought the blood was carrying all the needed energy to the brain. And to the rest of your body as well. But I have to mention that there are two types of strokes. The less frequent one is called a hemorrhagic stroke, which is actually bleeding into the brain. And the most frequent one is an ischemic stroke when occurs when a thrombus forms in the blood arteries and then this reduces or blocks the blood supply to the brain. A thrombus? Thrombus. And there are several risk factors that can actually lead to creation of a thrombus and symptoms of stroke then appear. Uh, but the good thing is that uh, most of these risk factors can be reduced and controlled. With medication? Not only, also with healthy lifestyle, with uh, physical activities and uh, other positive things that we can do in our lives. So how do you take care of a stroke patient? Well, Noemi, this is a very important question that you have asked me because many people living with stroke have issues in this life after stroke segment, such as depression, cognitive impairment, uh, they have difficulties in eating, dressing, so they need help in performing their everyday uh, activities from their families and uh, carers. Thank you, Anita. Thank you very much, Naomi. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Bye. Bye.